Hi there, I'm Misty Gilliland, nurse practitioner here at Center for Diabetes and Endocrinology at Galen. I have been specializing in the diagnosis and treatment of diabetes for the last 10 years. So as of 2015, over 30 million Americans were diagnosed with diabetes, and it is believed that 7.2 million have yet to be diagnosed. So with type 1 diabetes, you do not make insulin on your own. There's a genetic component that could be causing this. There's also believed to be environmental factors, immune responses, and viral infections. So type 2 diabetes, you still make insulin on your own. There's just insulin resistance, meaning your body is not using the insulin efficiently. So common factors for that is obesity, lack of uh, exercise, poor nutrition, and there's also a genetic component as well. So some signs and symptoms to look for would be frequent urination, hunger, increase in your thirst, changes in your vision, fatigue, slow wound healing, and frequent infections. So how we test for diabetes is rather simple. It involves a finger stick where we can check your blood sugar. Most often what we use is called a hemoglobin A1C and which is a three month average of your blood sugar. So unfortunately diabetes affects the entire body. Most common complications include stroke, heart attack, blindness, kidney disease, dialysis, uh, nerve damage, loss of limbs, sexual dysfunction, and problems with the digestive system.